Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yuri Folare. Um, my, well, my guest this morning, let me just bring that out into the open. I've got Mr. Olayinka Daniels. Uh, actually, it is Olayinka Ola Daniels. It's one of those kind of compound names. Look at all the spaces he would have used in his jam matter. Uh, <laughs> good, good morning, Mr. Ola Daniels, <laughs> public morning, affairs <laughs> analyst and lawyer. Good morning, Uncle okay, Good, good morning, morning, sir. Yes. <laughs> Barrister Fred Oke Nzeako, you know, social commentator and legal practitioner. Again, as always, Fred, it's a delight to have you. My pleasure, Yori. Indeed. Uh, Atumba Yori, my pleasure. Well, which good, one is Atumba Yori? Good, 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 good morning, sir. It's your... <laughs> my friend, it's just Yori and you know it. So don't go pulling my legs. And we'll also be joining, linking up with um, Dr. Madeli Boyo. Uh, he's a public health expert, social commentator, and quite a regular on this morning. I don't know if uh, Madeli Boyo is already online. Is that I could say good morning? No? Not yet. I'm sure they'll work that out. Now, um, we wanted to look at the question of government considering, the federal government, uh, considering the limiting of access to public spaces um, to those who have elected, for whatever reason, not to take the vaccine. How proper is it? That is one level of the question. And of course, the government you know, attitude to the whole thing, the way we're looking at it, is that, uh, and this is where we'll, we'll get your input on this subject this morning, um, the government's attitude to the matter is that, look, you do have a right, nobody's querying with that right, but there are other rights, rights of other people as well, and if you do not, you know, you know, what is it, is, is if you don't comply, or if you still insist on not taking the vaccine, then that's what it is. However, the fact that you could possibly be endangering those around you is a fact that we as government cannot just, you know, ignore so, you know, blithely. So that's the premise, and um, you know it already. And so now um, let's look at this. L let me start with, um, uh, well, Yinka has been in for quite a number of, um, he, he's been in a bit more frequently. He's Fred, we've not seen in quite a while. Fred, what do you, you're a legal practitioner, you're fully conversant with all these areas of rights and all of that kind of a thing. The government attitude reported first in Edo, but then we, get, we got a word that even the federal authorities are thinking along those lines, that access to certain places uh, might not be as free as it had been in the sense that they might require you to show um, evidence of having taken the vaccine, a.k.a. a, a vaccine certificate that those who have taken it already have. Well, as much as government may be thinking right uh, for the citizen, as much as government may be feeling that um, everybody needs to take a vaccine, but um, the dimension government is going is, uh, is not a clear di dimension. The direction is not clear uh, because the government is now thinking of sanction. Well, what it means is sanction. No matter how mildly, no matter how mildly put, it is sanction. When you begin to restrict a citizen, yes from having access to certain facilities mm -hmm. because that citizen has not taken the COVID-19 vaccine. Okay. That is a mild way of sanctioning the citizen uh, for well, not taking that vaccine. Okay. Well, well, what I thought you meant when you, when you started off uh, uh, by saying uh, what government is thinking, I thought you were going to end up with what government is thinking uh, cannot really be faulted in the sense that they are considering the rights of others around you that might be affected by your status of not having taken the uh, vaccine. But you would have allowed me to, to, to get there. Because uh -huh. you, you, you can't know what I'm thinking. Uh, what you, because you started off with... Uh, yeah, because uh, I feel we're saying that... It's a conscription of people's rights. It's yes, a conscription of it people's rights. It is an obvious conscription of people's rights. You cannot determine... When the Constitution says you have right to life, that life is not given by government. Right to life is given by nature but protected by the society so that we don't act like the animal kingdom where might is right and then whoever that is bigger will bully the next person and even eat up that other fellow person but as human beings we are uh, what we are doing is an extension of what nature has provided which is the right to life but then in doing that you don't also breach the, the right the other fundamental rights of the citizen. Okay. Because uh, every I, I citizen, yes, you know what I'm saying? Every, I, I citizen, every citizen has some fundamental right. Okay. If you, as a government, is trying to enhance the right to life mm -hmm. of citizens, mm -hmm. you also do that 
without breaching other rights of the citizen, for example, right of association, right of movement, right to ac of access to certain uh, fundamental uh, uh, facilities. That should not be the, dependent on any the, certificate of the society. This is an environment where even if any government can think about this kind of sanction, it shouldn't be a Nigerian government. Okay. All right. It shouldn't I, be a Nigerian I, government. I'm going to have so many reasons that we are going to adduce on this program. Okay. The Nigerian government is, 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 uh, it has not even done half of what they should do. Mm -hmm. Is it the same government that has allowed the doctors that will provide that, that facility to, to go on strike and then intractable, intractable strike okay. that has not been resolved, who and who are going to we'll come, administer we'll, all that? We'll so, come back to it. So if anybody's going to think about sanction, it's obviously not Nigerian government. Okay. And indeed, we'll come back to it. But you use the, um, Fred used the word sanction, um, Yinka. Uh, but when I said it, I said government was considering the possibility of restricting access to certain public spaces uh, to people that they felt in their scientific wisdom, research wisdom or knowledge um, could be a danger to those around them that are vulnerable. Now, he used the word sanction. Uh, I, the way I'm looking at it, I think in the, the way it was put is that a possible, you know, uh, constriction of the space or restriction of the public places that one could visit that Fred has so eloquently, you know, referred to the Constitution and the rights therein. What's well, your take? What's your take on this whole matter? My take on this is more like the f government is putting the cat before the horse. As we speak, and from statistics, we don't have 10 million doses yet. Now, we are talking about over 200 million citizens. Then you want to visit meaning you have not even started anything, then you are talking about people that refuse to be vaccinated then given conditions, given sanctions, like uh, Barrister said. Because, yeah, I, well, I agree well, with well, him on to sanctions. Pl pl placing certain sanctions yeah, on them. Yeah, sanctions on them. By restricting, restricting their access well. to certain places Bar if because they are the not question is, anti COVID not, compliant. Probably, probably if we are talking about, if you listen to Lagos State, Lagos State is saying that. Well, we are not uh, with this uh, compulsion that you must have it under control, but we are just targeting 60% okay. of our people to be vaccinated. And why Lagos is saying that is mm. because of the oft-quoted, well-known principle of herd immunity. The more of us yes. that have it, yes. we can actually, by the very numbers, beat the vaccine back in that you know but true. Uh, if, true, if, true. if you don't have that number that yes. that number mm. uh, then it's really it, it has the greater proportion of space yeah I'm, and I'm, able I'm, to I'm, I'm even act. still just commending Lagos state I for that you. action and for the way they want to go about it because tell the federal government you, that you mean the way, the way you're talking about government saying in lagos that we at are not looking at compulsion. No, 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 no. Uh, that's no, what you are yes, commending. Yes, yes. That's they are not looking at compulsion. That's, and they are so saying that's what that you are just after that's, that's what you're commending. Making sure that we have the percent, a reasonable percentage of people being vaccinated. It, now, otherwise, they want to get to herd immunity. What is the orientation agency doing? The federal government orientation agency. What are the lectures? What are, how are these enticing people? How are they explaining these things? A lot of people are not even taking this vaccine based on propagandas that they've heard over time. How have you come you, to... You, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, but yes. there's a lot of information coming out from official sources as well. Uh, Lagos, on the one hand, is a local affair. It was doing a daily briefing at one time. Uh, the National Center for, Di for Disease Control, it does quite frequent, um, you know, uh, uh, announcements. Uh, uh, it puts out a lot of stuff. Now, side by side with that are the conspiracy theorists. Very well. No. Very well. So if which, by propaganda you mean that came, even in the face or in the light of all that information we're talking about, yes. um, the propagandists yes. who are saying there's, there, there are, you know, uh, there, there, there are malicious you know, aspects to this, Very well. uh, in short, government can't be trusted and I might come to harm if I actually take it. That now, those point. kind of thoughts... Very well. They're existing side by side with the facts. With the facts. Yes, with the facts. And the, now, facts, are that, what, what and the facts are that if you take the vaccine, 
then God forbid, if you should come down with it, the AKA be infected, yes. um, you're going to have a much easier time coming back from. Okay, you may be concentrating on the elite. You may be concentrating on the few, uh, the educated ones, the market women, the market men. The truth is, some of these people don't watch TVs. Some of these people don't see all these government people talking. Are, are they going to the market square to enlighten people? Okay, so what you're saying is that government hasn't done enough, enough. by way of informing yeah. all strata of society. Very well. Just not the Let them know the reason why they need to take this. Not saying, I mean, what? There's no even enabling law. Okay. To I say you want to use. Well, that's going to be a small problem for government if government wants to go that way. Well, if uh, they want uh, to, uh, that uh, means they would die, then have to go and amend, uh, uh, I mean, uh, cha uh, uh, um, chapter oh, 4. Oh, oh, yes, oh. they have to He's go and about amend that. They have to go into the constitution. Yes, yeah, they have that, to go into the constitution okay. to okay. amend that. That okay. is a very big bottleneck for the government if they don't know. It, you, can, you cannot restrict people's rights just by a map administrative pronouncement or, you, or, 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 you, or, or you, enacting a law you know you know or, or enacting a law that mm -hmm. is contrary to the constitution that's where lawyers will take it of course that's where the society will even take it what yeah, we have what what, 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 what what we're looking at is what and what are the steps to be taken before certain things are done number one step like my brother said is what is the quantity of this vaccine that we have in the society two where are these vaccines coming from some people will tell you Today, they supply us from the uh, U.S. Tomorrow, they supply us from Holland. One day, they supply us from Bangladesh. So, they even come from Afghanistan. And then you expect people to come and begin taking the vaccine that they don't know the sources and the origin. Could, could I just and, and let me tell you, Yuri, the government has not done even 10% of what they should do. Indeed. Oh, yes. Indeed. Even 10% of what they should do. No, so, if no. anybody begins to think I of... I am not of, a government of, of, spokesman, but you can't... If anybody begins to think you, of sanctioning... You can't put all of that on the government. The, sanctioning all, the people. If anybody... All, be, 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 can we afford to government acquire is, the vaccine, Government Fred. is one talking about sanction. I know. Right. But, but the, the point you are raising... In other environment... You are government hasn't done. They have not done 10% of what they should do before they think of sanction. Okay. In other environment where they manufacture this vaccine, they encourage their people, they tell them what the impact is, what the expectation of, of the vaccine, the result of taking it, and they go ahead to give them incentives. I hear you. I hear incentives, you. Incentives, not I, sanction. I, 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 but over here, I was just curious even when the things are not available, officials are taking off sanction. What, I, kind, of, what, kind, of reason, Fred, what kind of reason is that? Fred, I was just, I was just um, curious about a um, certain aspect. It doesn't matter one way or the other. Have you taken the vaccine? Why are you asking me? Because, you know... Have you taken? Just, have you taken? Yes, I have. How many have you taken? I've taken both jabs. Both? Both jabs. Which, which brand did you take? Uh, AstraZeneca. Astra is it available today? It is continuing to be available. That is the question. Is so, it available so, today? So, uh, you are the elite. You took AstraZeneca. No, so, well, I went and took it at my local government area. Uh -huh. And we were, it was a motley crowd of a normal Very spectrum good. of motley, society. That motley crowd. Yes. How many people succeeded? Do you, know the kind of, yes, do you know the kind of... Uh, we, do you know the kind of man, no man that is involved no, when you go to take it? I just, okay, ah, I, 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 I'm telling you what I, I know, you, and I won't contradict you. I'm telling you what I know. You, my you know the level of yes, one um, no so man. I, I take that to mean that you are a big man in society. Perhaps not yet. You haven't taken it all. You don't want to answer I the question. I say you're a big man in the society. That's so, why you have taken it. So you don't want to answer the question. Well, whether I've taken it or not. Yes. It's, it's very private. Uh, have you taken the vaccine? I've had it two jabs. You've taken the two yes, jabs? Yes, I've taken the two jabs. And, um, you know, because that is not to say any, what, any one person is right or any part, one person is wrong for the purposes of this conversation. Um, there are many people that have not taken the vaccine. I don't think those that have taken the vaccine are in a minority at all. The percentage of people that have taken this vaccine, Yuri, mm -hmm. is less than... If there are 200 million people in Nigeria, take away those yeah. who are able to travel to US, to the UK, to other advanced countries. Many of them don't believe the version that is brought here. Okay. They travel outside to go and take it there. Do you know that an average market woman feels that even the ones that the governors and some other elites like <laughs> you take, <laughs> that they don't believe? Let me tell you, Yuri. They don't believe that they take the actual <laughs> vaccine. Okay. So they don't believe that they go and take multivitamin and come and tell them to go and take the vaccine.
Okay. Now, I have had people now, say that it, in the public arena. It, but it, it is a very unfortunate, and that is why, because government is not putting in enough enlightenment. I hear you. Government is not putting in enough provision. You can government say is not putting in enough conviction on the people. The pharmacovigilance of NAVDAC, for example, mm -hmm. which, when it, well, you take any drug and there's a drug reaction, what has been put in place? In case there are reactions, the, the these, people need to know all these. These are all legitimate questions. The people need to know all these. From the very beginning, before we've been anybody begins to think of, of conscription or, or any sanction. I, I hear you. We've been asking all these questions from the very, very beginning. And um, we've been getting answers. But I guess, uh, the, to quote, paraphrase, you know, to quote the words of a song, uh, I, I guess you could say that a man will hear what he wants to hear and disregard the rest. There's so much information out there. Now, relating to what um, you've just uh, spoken about, um, which was uh, uh, the, the point about how do we know, uh, we, we can't be sure. It's so new, we don't know, tests have not been, it's been hurried, and these are legitimate concerns, no doubt. But what would you gentlemen then say to the notion that is sort of gaining favor among employees, I mean, employers of labor? Yeah. Uh, some companies are now beginning to put in place, um, you know, policies that would make it difficult for staff to access their office, uh, never mind their identity card, if they cannot present along with it a certificate that they've been vaccinated. Yeah. Now, that, 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 is, that is not a matter of law. This is a matter of companies feeling concerned enough and maybe after appealing to their staff to please go get the vaccine, and those ones are exercising the rights such as you gentlemen have so, you know, uh, copiously de uh, described, the, some of them have said, no, not for me, thank you, not now. Now, companies are stepping in and saying, okay, you know what, guys, uh, we shall begin to require evidence of having taken the vaccine before you can get access to your, to your desk. And if you don't get access to your desk, of course, we see what's going on. The roundabout way is that you're absent, and if you're absent, you can't appear to afford to be paid. Yeah. Uh, nobody can pay you. So uh, people are now coming into the whole matter. The private sector is joining on. I'm not saying they're coming well, on in droves, yeah. but I have heard of one or two companies that have put this kind of a policy in place. Yes, for the private section, um, um, I mean, group, at least the, um, the, the Compensation Act 2010 uh -huh. made it clear. The weight is on the employer to make sure that in his environment, there's, uh, I mean, uh, um, everyone, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to health, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you, you can leave, you can work in such environment that the health is uh, taken it's care of, as in there are no issues. And now, and also, it must be safe, safe yes, by law. Very well. Which then is other the that attitude government, which, which, which can, also. Can you see how this is the attitude government might also be I'm adopting? Going to, I'm going somewhere, Uncle Okay, sir. Now, the virus is part of it. That to say, okay, there's a COVID um, 19, then I need you to take vaccine and all that. At the same time, if we have to prove that, then the employer also may be questioned by Chapter 4 of the 99 Constitution. If any worker should want on, to. On, 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 on issue of um, segregation. So, you, know, you know why? I yes. have everybody. I'm being, I'm being discriminated against. On, on discrimination. Yes. Do you know on, why? On my, 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 shall we call uh, it do, scientific beliefs. Do you know the truth? My scientific on analysis you know, of the matter is that it's not as bad as government is making it. Do you, you know the truth of this matter? The truth of this matter is I have every right not to take particular health. I, I can decide not to take any health care scheme. I have every right not to take some medications. It is my right not to. So if I'm if sure, I'm like sure the law go, in there. I, I'm not a lawyer, but yeah. I'm sure the law in there must also have an aspect by which it can protect members of the society if a person is insisting on a certain right of his that could endanger them by way of uh, maybe infectious, uh, b b some infectious condition, and the person is saying, "I will not be treated. I will not accept your treatment," and you're there. And everybody around you is now in danger. You know what? I'm sure the law must be able to protect society in those kind of situations. You know what vaccination means? What vaccination means? Preventive care. All right. And then if you discriminate against somebody who himself or herself is not a danger to others, on account of not taking that vaccination, you are running against the law. Yeah, but you don't know that it's not a danger. No, I'm to coming. Others. I'm coming. Okay. You are running against the law. Now. You that is insisting, you are the one insisting that this be taken. Have you gotten a proven conviction that that vaccination itself 
will prevent the occurrence of that ailment. That is the challenge that we are facing today. That even the experts themselves will tell you that taking that vaccination does not prevent infection. But it does lessen the, well. the, the uh, uh, agony, the agro, the, the stress. Of the issue if of you do contact the, the it, because issue as of, we were taking the, the vaccine, issue of as we were, sorry sir, as yes. we were taking the vaccine, yes. we were counseled that you still have to keep on masking up. You Very still well. have to keep on maintaining properly Beautiful. social distancing. There are, you still have to keep on There are instances all over before. the world where people that took the vaccine still died. Indeed, there are, so, there are but not an overwhelming majority so of incidents. No, Wait look, a minute. Look, we are not advocating look, that it, people should it, not take vaccination. It, this, but what we are looking at is that we are looking at the whole gamut of, 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 you, of discrimination against those who don't take it. I, what is left is so there are certain things that you achieve by moral suasion. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. And not by sanction. Yeah. It okay. is moral suasion. You. you explain to the citizenry. You make it available. You make it easy for them. And not when they leave their places of, places of business, they go and crowd up in the local government centers, uh, 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 public health institution, and they will not be attended to, and they go home. The next day they come back. You don't, you have not given them ample opportunity okay. to to take that vaccination. I hear you. Meanwhile, I hear you. I got to take the a doctors who provide this care. I understand where we you're must go there. We under, we, and we will indeed not shy away from any aspect of it at all. Um, Ade in the UK has called in. Good morning, Ade. Good morning, Your Highness. Uh, Ade, are you actually saying something? Uh, because I can't hear. I Is can, Ade speaking? Can you hear me now? Ade I'm speaking. in the UK, Good I've been morning. told, is on the line. Now, while we're waiting for Adi or any other caller yes. to come in, um, you, you see, uh, uh, we are also, it is also suggested to us that the way we've gotten, I won't, maybe I shouldn't use the word paranoid, but the way we've gotten very highly emotional about this COVID-19, uh, the, the, the measures against it, um, uh, it's like we're singling it out if we look at other medications. I was told, I think you can find it online, that even Panadol, has its contraindications. Well. Panadol. Very well. Paracetamol, you should paracetamol. say. Paracetamol. Uh, paracetamol. Yeah, because paracetamol. paracetamol is the product. Uh, uh, is a brand, uh, a generic name. The generic, okay. Mm. Scratch Panadol. Don't mm. just forget I said Panadol. <laughs> paracetamol <laughs> has its contraindications. Every, every, we are told. every drug. So, so is taking but drugs. nevertheless, people know paracetamol, uh, paracetamol mm -hmm. is, is safe. Nobody makes a case out of deciding whether or not to use paracetamol. Now, I just use that as an example. No, as an example, no, no. As, as what people tell us. I know people mm -hmm. that do not, they don't take paracetamol. Okay. okay. Because of what we are talking about. All because right. Because of the side effects. They, I know people that don't take well, paracetamol. I, 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 if you're there, can you hear us? Because we've been waiting to hear from Good you. Good morning. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Good morning. Good morning, Your Highness. Okay, very well, thank you. Uh, please go ahead. You wanted to contribute to the conversation. Okay. My contribution this morning is, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, as you know, with the man with the black, uh, uh, where are the incentives? Unlike here, you, you have too many incentives, and the black is available. Wait Even now, available. wait now, wait now, wait now, wait now, Adi. You just said here in the UK we have so many incentives. And so, because of that, you can understand why people are going there. And it, you seem to be implying that we don't have those incentives here might be part of the problem. Am I, am I getting you correctly? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, it's part of it. Okay. We are forcing people to come for vaccine. Mm -hmm. We are not encouraging them. We are not telling them. But who will they react to it? Where, where is your sister are they going? We, 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 can't, we, we, can't afford, we can't afford certain actions that um, Western countries take. As you well know, Ade. That's what they are taking now by forcing people. That's what they are taking exactly. They are saying you can't go here, you can't go here. They will bring that from here. Okay, so, so they can't compare themselves with, with the Western world. He, 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 because how many battles they have in Nigeria? Okay. And if anybody has so, a lot of which hospital are they going? Which so, so for you, for you, I did, it's a thumbs down. It's a thumbs down for you. This whole, this whole notion. It's completely thumbs down. Completely. Okay. Well, thank you very much for no, calling in. Thank you very much for calling in to share that perspective. And uh, can I, can I quickly correct um, um, the one of the uh, things you said? Mm -hmm. The impression of that. Okay, even if you take it, which hospital will you go back if there is any reactions? At least let's clear that. 
as at the point when you are taking the vaccine. Once you get it, they will tell you. If you feel like that, in fact, when they t when they, when you are given, actually, we were scheduled to sorry to interrupt. We were scheduled to have Dr. Madeli Boyo on as well as a sort of a medical consultant okay. over our conversation. Mm -hmm. But um, it it looks like uh, oh, Dr. Madeli Boyo, good morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Uh, you're you're already here morning. in case because I've not seen a picture. Yeah, I don't... I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay, yeah. excellent. I, I don't know how long have you been with us, doctor. Oh, I've been at least 15 minutes. I've heard the guy from London. I've heard... Oh, okay. Friends. That's heard, uh, fine. So, we, we, we have a medical person here. We have a legal person here. We have legal persons here. And um, as it happens, both of them are also, you know, public affairs uh, commentators. Uh, so, so far, doctor, uh, weigh in. I think, sorry, I, I cut you yeah, a bit, but on. let's hear from uh, the yes. doctor. The challenge that we have uh, against the backdrop of Government possibly, uh, let me put it differently, government is reported to be considering, you know, restricting access to certain places for those who cannot show evidence of having been vaccinated uh, in order to protect those uh, that they will be around. Um, I, you might, you, you've already heard the legal perspective on that, at least one legal perspective on that. What do you think, doctor? Yes, um, I think it's too early in the day. To, to say that, if we're going to ask people, restrict people from um, uh, um, if you don't certain have to, public you places. Yes, I mean, it's too uh, because uh, um, doctors up to 10% of the people vaccinated. There was a target. If you reach 70% herd immunity, where a majority of people are getting vaccinated, you can begin to do that. Now, most people are not getting vaccinated, not because they don't want to get the truth is, at a very low public um, announcements and mobilization. Two, the vaccines are not enough to go around. Now, you'll be subjecting people to unnecessary pressure if you don't have the vaccines to go around, and you're insisting that they cannot go to some restaurant. What are these research places? Maybe markets, maybe, maybe, maybe event centers, maybe like weddings. Now, today, we don't have up to 5% or 10% of Nigerians vaccinated. What are you going to sow that one up in the villages, in the city, somewhere? You know, so we need to work on that. Okay. So, uh, what, 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 you, what, what you're saying, in fact, I, I take the line I, I want to take as sort of a headline to what you just said is that it might be early days for that, early days yet for that yes, particular mo uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, move. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we Mr. should George. get to the head immunity of 70%. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. George. I, I understand you've called in already. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Yes. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Can good. you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Uncle Yori, I'm very surprised this morning that a lawyer in the standing of Mr. Uzako will come on national television to be spreading conspiracy theories. This is the reason why many Nigerians do not even go for this vaccine. He said it is meant for big people in the society. That is not true. I've taken the two doses. I'm not a big person in our society. And where I took it, the commoners of common people came there and I saw them take it. Nobody came with a letter from a senator or a, a, a clerk. So that is not true. All right, then. And Thank we doubted the authenticity of the vaccine. This is another reason why people are not coming up for these things. Yeah. It's there a, it's a no very difficult right, situation. Uncle Yuri, yeah. Uncle Yuri, yes, sir. There is no right without a corresponding duty. If you have chosen not to take a drug or not to take a vaccine, then you will lose your right to go and spread whatever decision you have made upon others okay. who believe in it. So that is the uh, indeed. Thank you very much. And yeah. that is what the lawyers are contesting. No, but I, wonder so where, I wonder where he had what he uh, ascribed uh, to me. Uh, that you were doubt you were. I never said, uh, said, said, said what he was. Well, uh, uh, something about sure the authenticity. Are you sure he listened uh, yeah, to well, this program? Uh, uh, I think if he might be referring to that area where you said that some might even come from Afghanistan. You know, I think that yeah, that's about the authenticity aspect. Look, Yuri, but where does the vaccine come from? This this doesn't want, they don't need playing the ostrich. The okay. vaccine that we have in Nigeria, yes. where is the origin? 
Okay, we'll come and back. And which brand are we taking? We'll come back to and that. And meanwhile, the experts will tell you that if you start with one, you must complete that one. we got to go on then a break when now. You, when and you I'm going now to come back one. and resume it. Uh, I'll resume yeah, so, I mean, so I'm going to go off on a break now. Before, so before stay with us, please. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We've got uh, Mr. Olayin Kaola Daniels here, as well as Fred Oke in Ziyako, both um, legal practitioners, and Dr. Madeli Boyo, public health expert and social commentator, is also with us uh, via uh, remote on Zoom. Um, we're looking at the whole question of governments reported to be considering. Uh, in fact, some people, in the, in the case of the Edo State government, some people have actually, I understand, taken the Edo State government to court to see if they can stay that whole matter say no 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 you can't do that but in the case of the federal government it's reported that they might also be considering such a measure um we've been having this very very you know uh, shall i say vigorous conversation on it and um it it seems to be you know tilting for now uh, because of our two uh, you know uh, guests in the on the side of those who uh should be able to maintain their rights to freedom of access anywhere um, Dr. Amadili Boyo, a, a, a medical expert, public health expert uh, that is also with us, has also opined that it might be early days yet for that kind of an approach. So, quite frankly, it isn't spoiling their case at all. But we are now say, saying, Dr. Amadili Boyo, um, what do we say to Mr. Dr. Amadili, uh, Amadili Boyo? What do we say to uh, when we give what you? Medical people are, have told us that if you have taken the vaccine, should you be infected? And it is a possibility, we were told, should you be infected? Because uh, some people will be infected after having got the vaccine. You have a much easier time recovering, is what you know, medical people have told us. Um, they are not impressed by that. So what would you say to them, doctor? Yeah, because they don't understand the science. The science is that you can't be infected. It's not like saying you can get malaria parasites in your blood and not, you know, not have malaria symptoms. Nigeria is an endemic country. So all of us have malaria parasites one way or the other in our blood, but the mosquitoes keep biting us. The same thing with what we call the asymptomatic carriers. These guys have the COVID, but they don't display any symptoms. If you are vaccinated, you can be infected, meaning you can come across somebody with with the um, with the with, 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 with the infection spreading it to you and yet you don't have symptoms. So the problem is that even if you have symptoms or your immunity is low or you have some other challenges, these symptoms won't be as serious as somebody who has never had a vaccination. That's that's the wisdom we've been given by medical doctors uh, like yourself. Uh, so uh, gentlemen, there it is again. I, you knew it already. It's not fresh news to you. Uh, but, uh, Fred, why don't you buy, let me start with you. I'm going to ask the same question of uh, Yinka. Uh, why don't you buy that notion that it can't hurt to get the vaccine because should you unfortunately be infected by an asymptomatic carrier, for example, <coughs> you would have a much easier time recovering because you already had the antivirus let me say, things in Let you. me say this with huge emphasis that I have absolutely nothing against COVID-19 vaccine. But and I, and, you, didn't and, ask, and, but you and, wouldn't ask me, answer the question, I told you it have is, you taken it? I told you it is private. Okay. Uh, so you, yes, so you, you are entitled to your I'm medical to my, record. Uh, yeah, after all, when Mr. President was ailing, did he tell you what was uh, his problem? It was his private. But it wasn't it was a public health issue. No, it was his privacy. It wasn't a public health issue. No, but now it, this is my privacy. Okay. I am not against it. I, I even advocate for it. But I go a oh. step further. Yes, okay. I go. You actually advocate. I go advocate. out and take the exactly, vaccine. Exactly, but I go a step further by asking those in authority. Mm -hmm. One, individuals are not allowed to bring this in. Recall that sometimes not that. You, you mean the vaccine? Yes, the vaccine. No, you can't bring it in. You can't bring it in. It's, it can only be brought in by a, a, a approved experts, especially in government circles. All right. Because that not that sometimes warn Nigerians against fake vaccine. And then I now ask this question. If vaccine is free, mm -hmm. who will get involved in bringing in something that it has no gain? Mm -hmm. So why this issue of fake vaccine? Who is bringing in fake vaccine? It was you, one of you, the news you, then. You know the, and the, then the, the question is this. The, the problem with the vaccine is that we can't buy as much as we want. Look, 
Look, I mean, we 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 it, it, it's it, 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 we can't buy. Don't, don't answer the question of why let, that announcement about fake vaccine. Okay, let, let me come back. Put in the public let, domain let, by enough that. Let, so what it now means is that let's come back was, and address that. I don't want to. It, it, um, uh, I don't want to keep Gabriel waiting any longer. I'm going to come back to it. I wasn't shutting it down. Uh, good morning, uh, Gabriel in Bagada. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling. Go right ahead, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Yori. Good morning. Go right um, ahead. I want, uh, okay. I want to. I, I want to say that this matter is um, a very important issue because when I went to take my own vaccine, there was nothing like knowing somebody. All of us that went to take it, it was free of charge. And nobody has to who, who do we know or who is on top that do we know that that uh, committed us to come to take that vaccine. All, all right, so, sir. So, sorry, that what you've just said, what you've just said, I'm sorry to jump in. What you've just said addresses something we've also said on this program. Thank you very much for that. Let me now ask you, those that are around you, uh, what is their attitude to whether or not they should get the vaccine? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Gabriel. Appreciate your call. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. So, uh, so, I said I wasn't going to shut you down. Yes, so, yes. yes. So, so, as, as I was saying, it is, it is very important that government does two major things. One, public enlightenment, and two, Availability of this vaccine. Okay, I hear you. These I, I two got those are points. very, very important. Because you, you know, so that, surprisingly, you have just told us that, contrary to what we may feel, you actually advocate no, that people go you, out and get it. I'm surprised it. that if you feel that I was against vaccination, okay, I'll be very, very surprised if you feel so. So you're, you're not. Yeah. How? What should I be? Okay. That's what should I be? I have no reason to be. Okay. But I have every reason to doubt some of the pronouncements by government officials. Mm -hmm. I have every reason mm -hmm. because. The experts told us that if you take any particular one as the first jab, okay. the second jab must be the same. Yes. You cannot take okra and mix it with um, Nobody with, with will do that. Nobody's going to do that. Good. Governments and have been explaining that So, since. So, it's very important. So, the, and that is why... So, you actually... And that is why government must always let people know. Okay. All right? I, I get what you're saying. This is the batch okay. that has come in. Mm. If you have taken this batch, you go and take the second one. And not when you bring from this country, you bring from another country, the people who don't know, all they hear is that go and take your vaccination. And they don't know that what they are uh, admission at the second job is different from what you have taken at the first job. Okay. You read the, so, pre the, so, pre the propensity uh, of illiteracy yes, in the country is yes. still very high. And, and that's why government is stepping in to help by explaining copiously that, look, if you took the AstraZeneca one, mm -hmm. you can't, and you haven't taken the second for whatever reason, mm -hmm. hold on. Do not take any other. The AstraZeneca second one that is not available now mm -hmm. will come, and then you will get it. Then, They've been very then, clear then, about then, that. Then, then, aside from AstraZeneca, yes. there is, which other name is popular in the in, 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 in Nigerian health, health sector? The current one. Which uh, other what, name? What, 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 I uh, Moderna, I think. Moderna, the one, yeah. made, Moderna, by, the one made by no. Pfizer. Which other no, one? No, 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 no. I, I, there are, there, I think AstraZeneca I, I, is I, I, Pfizer. Okay. AstraZeneca Fine. is Pfizer. I don't know who made AstraZeneca, mm. yes. but I know AstraZeneca is, is popular. Maybe there's what? another one, Moderna. Yes, and that is, there's another one is. that was brought in sometime from Russia. Okay. All right? So these are issues. All right. Nigeria mm. need to standardize. Look, that lack of standardization that has bedeviled so, our, but our, our meantime, space but is meantime, also Fred, affecting us in the health sector. Taking into consideration all that you said, Fred, yes. you are not... In the meantime, I can now hope, I hope I can now assume, you're not discouraging people from going for the vaccine. Oh, no, I encourage people to go and take their vaccine. All right, all right. After all, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't kill. Rather, it saves. It okay. saves. Okay. It doesn't kill. Okay. It saves. Okay, right. That's the understanding. There, there, there are factors, there are factors we need to consider that people are not looking into. What are these factors? One, there's this issue of People don't even know where to go to take this vaccine. Ah. Now, the, oh. yes, the government... Inca. No, hold on. I'm going somewhere. You, because you, the you government, told me that you've taken it yourself. I, I have. Mm -hmm. I have taken it. And I, I'm going to tell you why I said that. I have taken it because I know where to go. Because I, at least I was able to stumble on, okay, okay. list of places okay. to go. Now... But the local governments are doing it. 
they are doing it at the at what level? Because at the level of the CDA, I'm a member of the CDA mm -hmm. in my area. Mm -hmm. Now, I had to talk to the chairman of the CDA to say, come, we want people to go take this vaccine. They don't even know where to go. Now, please, can we have the list of those places? So I forwarded the list I have with me. That was how some people were able to go and this for is this. How help begins to that come about. No. And it, I, I, some are saying that this needs to be encouraged uh, even more. Very well. People that move. You know that when I cannot I move, you made. Yes. It's an elitist move. And when we say that the, the downtrodden masses are not carried along, no. others say, no, no, no. Do you, no, know, where, do you know where I took my own jab? The particular venue I took my own jab, they were practically appealing to us, begging us to spread the news. Why? Because we were just few at that venue. That is it. To take the jabs. So we now to had to go out, I had to start calling friends. Okay. Have you had your jab? Uh, yeah. Please, so, so please come there. Okay. And it's so that if they were interested, that. don't forget that the context of this conversation mm. is the consideration of moves by governments to restrict access to uh, certain so, uh, public spaces. Uh, uh, that's that's uh, what we're talking yeah, about here. Yeah. So, uh, let, let, let me quickly bring in Ola. Uh, Ola is in... Uh, where's Ola? Good morning, Ola. Where are you calling yeah, from? Good morning. Good yeah. morning. Good, good morning, Mr. Yori. Go ahead, sir. I'm calling from Magodo. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, the the move by government. The, the move by government to consider restricting access to certain places if you can't show evidence of having been jabbed for uh, against COVID-19. What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, in as much as I will not hundred percent support with people from uh, access to public well I you think your guest one of your guests is discouraging people from taking the vaccine by showing the uh, information that will dissuade them from doing it okay uh, do you, which one is it uh, Fred or Yinka Yinka uh, yes, or Fred Mr. Mr. Fred uh, oh, okay but but Fred just concluded yes. just before I came onto your call that it is not his intention to discourage people no from I don't know not just intention team. I don't discourage uh, you anybody can, you can I advocate for it but, but I'm saying it else. as it is okay. the situation but, but, as it is but listen to what he says he says because nevertheless the information you he says the content of your utterance is discouraging people Nobody, That's his point. Nobody, nobody will say that it does not know what COVID-19 is. Government has copiously us that if you take AstraZeneca, you must, for the first job, you must take AstraZeneca for the second job. Yes. Sputnik that he's talking about, nobody has taken Sputnik. The government has not given anybody Sputnik. Okay. So why are you telling some came from Russia, some came from somewhere? Okay, all of that you think See, is discouraging. I think, I think when people have access to national TV, they should come to tell us things that will encourage us. Okay. Not things that will discourage us. All right, then. Um, well, thank you very much for calling in. Freedom of speech is also an issue. Uh, Dr. Madeli Boyo, um, uh, look at the conversation, the way it's been going on. You must have heard all sorts yourself. Um, how would you sort of, uh, what would you counsel uh, those that are not skeptics uh, but that are listening to this? What would be your counsel? Uh, because even you yourself said that, well, going to the extent of restricting access to certain places because you haven't been jabbed might indeed be a bit premature. Uh, but nevertheless, when you hear these things that some are even indicating are a bit discouraging to those who are on the fence, uh, what, what would you counsel? So it's, let's remember that the vaccines are not as important as masking up, physical distancing, and washing our hands. If we have all these places, these restricted places we are planning to stop it from going, we can do these things. Oh, did you just up, say, doctor, did you just say, doctor, that, you know, yes. washing your hands, masking up, socially distancing is more important than even the vaccine? Is that what you just said? What I, what I might doubt is that they are more available, they are more easily done, and they even prevent you from even having the, 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 the contact at all. The vaccines mean if you have contact, you not develop the illness. They're masking up all over the world, masking up, physical distancing, washing of hands, remain the primary thing. The vaccine comes in, but we must do that. So if we're going to restrict you from going anywhere, we should start from going back to the last COVID um, phase two, 
and enforce masking everywhere, enforce hand washing, enforce physical distance. That's the first thing. Okay. The, the, Especially yes. from the a view of, uh, point of view of public health. Yes. The next thing is people should get a vaccine. Now, we are not a rich country. These vaccines are not easily, even when they're available, we are dispersed. This country is big. We've not been able to do, I mean, we've just ended polio after so many years now. To get everybody vaccinated in this country with conspiracy theories going on and things like what my, my friend there is saying, people are getting more and more discouraged. So what do we do now? We should just, the government has tried its best. The vaccines are available. If you go to these centers, they ask you, because you go online, you can't go online, you go there, they ask you, have you taken before? If you have taken AstraZeneca, they will not give you Moderna. There's no confusion about that. They don't mix things up. They won't give you. Now, AstraZeneca is going to start again in a few days' time. They will tell you to wait for that. Exactly. So, All now, right. by the end of this year, by the end, likely by the end of this year, we may have reached 25%. Because the vaccines were going to come in greater numbers until India developed a ridiculously high number of cases. And Indians were the ones manufacturing the AstraZeneca on behalf of the Swedish people. Now, you made a mistake, sir. AstraZeneca is not Pfizer. Oh, okay. There's a Pfizer thank vaccine. You. Uh, then thank there's you. a Moderna vaccine. Then there's AstraZeneca, which is Swedish, British, and Oxford. Okay. So, thank you very it. much for that correction. So, they now contracted it out to India since they have facilities, the company has facilities in India to make. But when India got to their own massive number of COVID cases, they didn't have enough vaccines for themselves. They restricted sending vaccines to us at yes. that particular time. Oh, yes. So as a is, is coming through. And now what we should encourage the government to do? Okay. Traditional rulers, doctor, church leaders, uh, we, we, celebrities. Got, we've got to leave it here, doctor. Uh, I, 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 but thank you very, very much. I think it's been very helpful and very clear, the explanation you have made, as has indeed been the situation with my guests in studio. They've been very clear and, um, on, on, on their beliefs and uh, how they want to view this. Okay, Ari, and uh, there's, there's, a, there's a, what is it? Um, there's, a, there's a matter of the legal rights of people that has been stressed here. Uh, we don't have any more yes, time. But, but I quickly want to answer the question on the phone that says that where do you go when there is any repercussion? Right there where you, where you take your jabs, they yes. will tell you if you feel any help, please return to this to very the, place. Please, very we will please, then please. direct you. Can I just thank you very much, uh, Yinkala Daniels, uh, for coming on the program. And also, thank you Fred. For having me. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Fred. Fred and Ziako, you know, you know, to right, hear your thanks. view. And I, I imagine that you're speaking for a lot of people, as indeed you are, and indeed um, as those of us who are not skeptics uh, are as well. This is the conversation. It's out there. Um, this is the way it is. So let me just say, on this particular edition of the program, um, socially distance, mask up, wash your hands frequently, and um, do consider taking the vaccine. I'm Yori Folare. Bye bye for now.